53 is a significant period because it's after Sweeney, who was the main curator at MoMA at that time, had visited Soulage for the first time, had already introduced Soulage's work to Alfred Barr, who was director of MoMA, and had also introduced Soulage to Sam Kutz, who had become Soulage's dealer in New York. And there are several paintings in 1953 that are sort of launching pads for Soulage to become this international star. He started in uh, 46 and 47, and he, because uh, after the war, the materials was very scarce and he didn't have money, he started making these smaller works on paper, not at oil because he couldn't afford oil at the time, with these chestnut oils in dark browns, and he was just making these marks that didn't come from anywhere. He was really looking at cave drawings you know, from thousands of centuries before with these monolithic figures that were around them in the southwest France. There are three paintings in this format that are the same color scheme, the same format, and basically the same structures. And a bit earlier, there's a painting 1948-49 that belongs to the Museum of Modern Art that Alfred Barr bought directly from Pierre. These paintings have extremely strong relationship to this piece, which becomes almost the fourth of this series of work that he's putting forth, all the same color, all the 